Pan ni'n meddwl am Bilrod ac as newydd ni aml y meddwl am Newport County, ond mae'n glwb i chael geisiol yn chwarae yma yn y trydydd hain yng Nghymru, Dinas Casnewydd. My name is Sam Holdsworth and I am the first team manager of Newport City Football Club. This is my seventh season now, heavily involved in the fact of doing everything on and off the pitch. Um, I've got a good team of volunteers, but in terms of chairman, secretary, manager, um, sometimes player, <laughs> that, those days are long gone. But yeah, I've been heavily involved and uh, it's been quite a journey. I'm Spencer Woods and I'm the captain of Newport City FC. Up until Christmas, it was really, really tough. A season like we've never had before. Usually we're sort of up and around the top of the table, mid-table team, playing good football. However, this year was a bit different. We've had new ownership in. It's been great to have uh, Next Gen, Gareth and Mike especially, come in to help me out. New ownership has been a breath of fresh air. Uh, the boys have been excellent. It's something I've been crying out for years. It allows me to kind of focus on just managing for now and hopefully get the club kicking on and up the league and where we should be. Myself and Mike have always had a passion for development, inclusion and pathway for children's football. We've seen a huge opportunity uh, within Newport City. You can see the surroundings that we're in. It was a very inner city, fairly deprived area. and We hope that we can come in here and make a difference. And we've been doing that over the course of this week now with skills camps. And we hope to engage as many kids, as many families as we tried to do today, as you would have seen. For me personally, I'm a Newport boy, so it's brilliant to be able to represent the city and play for the, the local team. Especially now with the new ownership, it's been brilliant and it's a real community feel now. It's a community club and um, yeah, it's brilliant. For a generation, Gwent has been a void for sporting opportunities. So the opportunities to come in and improve the offering for all ages and genders is, is, is massive. This is a huge project with loads of potential and one which was very easy to jump on with a 10-year goal to build something for the next generations. The new lads who have come in have been fantastic with us and injected a real life into the club. We were called the Nottingham Forest of Welsh League One, I think, on Twitter, so uh, that was quite funny to see. Uh, I'm Taylor Rees Hammett and I'm centre-back for Newport City. I started playing when the new owners came in, so I think there was a lot of buzz around the club especially with a few new signings in January. And yeah, you could see straight away in training, it sort of took us to the next level. You could see that in the results as well. You know, we, we managed to start picking up some crucial points against teams that we probably would have lost to at the start of the season. Taylor Reese Summit, it's a, it's a familiar <laughs> surname to us. Yeah. You've got a famous brother, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, Lewis. Yeah, obviously he plays for Wales and Gloucester. We, we don't miss a game ever, so it's made it a bit more difficult for me playing because I do prioritise watching him, always have. Um, but yeah, it's, it's great. Lewis was in Cardiff City Academy when he was younger. I never really got to that level, probably because I don't have his pace either, uh, which is a factor. But yeah, we both play both sports and you know, we're really close to best friends. Are you better at rugby than he is at football? Do you know what? I would like to say yes, but if you asked him, I think he still thinks he could get a run out of Cardiff City now. So. Um, I think that's up for debate, but I would say I'm better at, football, at rugby than he is at football, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of our biggest targets are, is to make money not an object for children or for families to be able to play football. We want children, we want families here, we want them to be part of the experience, we want them to be part of the game day experience, we want them to grow then into our future, our next gen of Newport City footballers. The reason that the first team are the pinnacle of any football club, I suppose, is that's what everyone aspires to be. The excitement and the buzz around the club is massive, and I think we're starting to gain that community feel. Everyone's starting to realise kind of who we are, everything's building, and with all the academy and that's being set up and all the backdrop in place, yeah, we'll be looking at the other end of the table and, look, we just need to hit these, these targets first, but if we do, then, yeah, we'll be looking to kick on as a club.